Oh, look. That's fire. Dash cam video captures how quickly a fire burning in the woods outside Halifax spun out of control. Can't see anything. Watch as the rolling flames shroud midday skies in an eerie crimson glow. Then smoke so intense it devours almost everything in its path. Making seconds count. Be okay, don't worry. Tens of thousands of people have been forced to make a fast escape since this rapidly spreading wildfire broke out on Sunday, turning a sunny afternoon into an apocalyptic scene. We have nothing. We have nothing right now. And, um, you know, we're out shopping, trying to get toothbrushes. Caroline Parker of our Halifax music station, Jack 929, left with nothing but the clothes on her back, a bathing suit, basically. She had been on her way to the beach. Eight fire trucks passed us. And I said to my husband, turn around, turn around. There's something wrong. And before we could turn around, police had the road blocked off. And it was a, a matter of minutes that the fire spread from one home, one lane, right through the subdivision. Parker got word Monday morning her home in Upper Tantallon, a suburb about a 30 minute drive from Halifax, is still standing. We are some of the lucky ones, but um, we have good friends, Karen. We have good friends and neighbors who've lost everything. We are in an unprecedented fire response that has displaced more than 16,000 residents of our community. Now, we have not expanded the perimeter since yesterday, which is some hope that perhaps this situation has stabilized, but it is a dangerous situation. Officials couldn't put a number on how many homes have burned to the ground and how many more are still threatened. Firefighting efforts are at the mercy of changing winds. The priority right now is, is getting these fires under control and, and keeping people safe. Safe but living in limbo. I'm just devastated for our neighbors, our friends. It's unclear when evacuees will be able to return to their communities and what they'll be returning to. It will take at least days. Now keep in mind that crews are also working to contain a second massive wildfire burning in the southern part of the province. But I wanna leave you with some good news from Parker. Thanks to a neighbor, she was able to save her most precious possession before it was too late. Have a listen. When we left the subdivision and we saw all the firefighters and the fire trucks. I said to my husband, I got to get my cat. We just rescued him from the SPCA. I just wanted my fur baby and she got him. So we're good. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.